morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, school. Please, will you stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. verses 24 to 27. An argument broke out among the disciples as to which one of them should be thought of as the greatest. Jesus said to them, the kings of the pagans have the power over their people and the rulers claim the title of friends of the people. But this is not the way with you. Rather, the greatest one among you must be like the youngest and the leader must be like the servant. Who is greater, the one who sits down to eat or the one who serves? The one who sits down, of course, but I among you as one who serves. Let us pray. Look with favour we beseech thee, O Lord, upon this school, and grant that its foundations may ever stand, stand firm in truth and righteousness, that beauty, order and reverence may be the message of its walls and fields. And that, so long as one stone remains upon others, it may stand for all things that are strong and lovely and of good report. We ask this in in the name of of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I now invite our headmaster, Dr. Moulds, to address the assembly. Good morning, students, staff, and parents of the Rockhampton Grammar School. Today is a special day in the life of our school as we commence the leadership ceremony of the Rockhampton Grammar School for 2017. Before we start, I'd like to ask the same question as I did last year, but look at it from a different angle. What is leadership and what makes a good leader? It seems like every time we open our social media feed, there's news of another leader imploding. From a junior football coach starting a UFC-worthy brawl in front of nine-year-olds to a CEO being caught with his hand in the till. There's a woeful lack of good leaders today, says Simon Sinek, author of Start With Why and Leaders Eat Last. We have some, but we need many more. At the end of the day, it's embarrassing that I even have a career. I write and talk about trust and cooperation. There should be no demand for my work. Amid this lack of leadership, however, lies opportunity, a chance for everyone in this room to step up. Leaders are made, not born, suggests research led by John Emmanuel Deneve of the University of Oxford. Deneve looked at whether leadership has genetic components and found that, in fact, there is a genotype shared by leaders. He concluded, most importantly, however, that leadership traits stem from a mix of genetics and of environment. 
So even if your last name isn't Turnbull or Packer, you can develop strong leadership skills. And I hope that many of you here are and have during your time at RGS. Remember, you don't need to be a CEO or have political aspirations to implement them. A leader is someone who makes all the people around him or her better. And that cuts across all levels, says Ethan Bernstein of the Harvard Business School. That person can be you at whatever level you choose. Leadership isn't dying, it's evolving. To step up, you just need to understand the new rules of being a leading man or woman. These rules include be a humble narcissist, put respect before results, make yourself accountable, look back as often as you look ahead and make your mission more than a statement. Due to time constraints, I'll focus on one of these, be a humble narcissist today. The Golden State Warriors, a basketball team in the NBA, came closer to regular season perfection than any other in NBA history, winning a record 73 games last year. Head coach Steve Kerr had a lot to do with that. Part of the reason he's so loved and respected is his easygoing but intensely competitive style. He has smashed his fist through a clipboard during a game, but after games, he regu regularly deflects any credit for his team's success. This showcases an important trait of high-quality leaders today, that of fluidity. The new leadership isn't about exhibiting one style all of the time. Rather, it's about having a repertoire of skills that allows you to adapt to a variety of situations. You may need to be ruthless when competing on the sporting field, but you don't need that same chest-thumping behaviour when you're fundraising for a charity. There's so much to temptation to lead in a strong, authoritative way because that's what expected, says Brad Owens, a business, business ethics expert at Brigham Young University. But the one-dimensional bully leader is dead. Even though 80% of people in a Pew Research Centre study cited decisiveness and an essential leadership trait, today's smart leaders understand what precedes decisiveness is equally important. The ability to admit that you don't know everything and the willingness to defer to others for opinions. Specifically, Owen, found, Owen has found in his studies that when leaders show more humility, team performance improves. One reason, in the information age, it's increasingly difficult for one leader to figure it all out, he says. But perhaps the greatest advantage of humility is that it can temper perceptions of narcissism, thereby allowing a leader to remain strong without appearing dictatorial. Research in the Journal of Applied Psychology found that a leader who is perceived to have contradictory traits of narcissism and humility is also viewed as being more effective. It's almost a schizophrenic process, Owen says. And here are three ways that we can all develop that persona. Ask questions. Pepper every conversation with them. This lets everyone know you're considering all options and points of view. Act now, but explain later. When you have to make a fast decision, be bold and strong about it. Then counter that perception that you're an ogre by explaining to your group why the situation demanded fast action. And thank the team. Even though you're proud of yourself when things work out, credit everyone else. It may sound like a cliche but in, in the post-match interview, but it's not to the team you're working with. Year 12. I hope that you feel satisfied with what you have learned and gained from your school, as well as what you've contributed to it. You have all made an impact on the school, and I hope the school has made an impact on you. As your time at school dwindles, I wish you well for the future. Congratulations to all the students receiving awards today. They are an important recognition of you as individuals and what you as a group have been able to achieve. I would also like to acknowledge at this time the outstanding and pivotal roles played by Elizabeth, Jed, Meg and Mason this year. Their actions have truly encapsulated our school motto, Macte Virtuda Literis, 
and grown themselves, their leadership, and our school community in character and scholarship. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Moulds. Good morning, Mr. Kelly, Ms. Wright, staff, parents, and fellow almost graduates. At the beginning of the year, Jed and I addressed the school for the first time within our role as captains. Then we had the opportunity to express our values and ideas and what we believed was important to us in terms of maintaining a safe, welcoming and enjoyable school environment. And since then, we've been working as a team of four alongside our prefects to achieve this. Now, as we hand on our duties to Hannah, Luke, Annabelle and Sam, we are given the opportunity to reflect, reflect on our year and we are happy to say that we have done the best we could as a captaincy team and as a cohort. Through our words, actions, and relationships with one another, we aim to and believe we have continued to foster the positive culture that exists at our school, knowing that it will continue to do so next year and long after we are gone. I think it is very reasonable to say that 2017 was a fantastic year at the Rockhampton Grammar School, <coughs> and today we recognise the efforts Today we recognise the efforts that the Year 12s went to to ensure that their senior year was memorable. We honour their commitment at school events, from hours of folding napkins to serving at major dinners, and within the wider community, which involved raising money for the Red Shield Appeal, shaving for Leukaemia Foundation, and riding with the disabled, only to name a few. We thank the school for giving us these opportunities to create a community of belonging within RGS, but quite frankly, None of it would have been achievable without the efforts of our fellow Year 12 cohort, and for that, we thank you collectively. To the Year 12s of 2018, as a wise John Cena would say, your time is now. Prepare yourselves for the roller coaster of your senior year, as all of the current seniors would agree that it comes and goes so quickly. Like all roller coaster rides, you might be nervous to start. However, find your feet early and enjoy the ride as it comes. Take a deep breath if you're feeling anxious and remind yourself that everything is going to be okay because it will be. Grab every opportunity you can and run with it. Create memories with the people sitting to your left and right as these memories and friendships will last a lifetime. I hope your senior year is as memorable as ours has been and I give you my best wishes for 2018. To my fellow seniors, I commend you for your dedication to RGS this year. I have no doubt that we will see this commitment unfurl into the wider community. Now it's time to unbuckle your seatbelts and prepare yourself for your next ride. Adulthood. Thank you. I invite Ms. Wright, Head of the Senior School, to announce the Service and Leadership Awards. It's my great pleasure today to ask Dr Bowles to present the awards to our Year 12s, assisted by Mr Kelly and Mr Petrie. 2017 has been a wonderful year for us in the Senior School Office. The Year 12s have been a can-do group. They've done it calmly, generally wisely, and they've worked well right across the school. Today we have three different levels of awards. Service colours. Service colours are given to those students who normally are working behind the scenes whenever we ask for jobs to be done, furniture to be moved here, there and everywhere, assistance needed with hospitality, assistance needed here, making up posters. They put their hand up time and time again. And much that we do at grammar just wouldn't happen without the work that the people receiving service colours do for us. Our first award, Lily Kate Agnew. <laughs> Katie Armitage. Ella Back. <laughs> Sarah.
Samira Beasley. Celine Bielenberg. Melita Blackwood. Harrison Bogue. Courtney Bruce. Sally Burr. Will Kellerman. Alistair Cathy. Austin Cox. <laughs> Timothy Connor. <laughs> Reese Copley. Lachlan Cox. Jasmine Davis. Ryan Dello. Chelsea Dendle. Lachlan Dixon. <laughs> Taylor Donnell Wales. <laughs> Kelsey Duncan. Kimberly Evans Barlow. <laughs> Hugh Farquhar. <laughs> Hugh Fernie. Sarah Ferry. <laughs> Tyler Gassman. <laughs> Kai Jill. <laughs> Ted George. Nicholas Gleason. <laughs> Samuel Gray. <laughs> Mika Green. <laughs> Brooke Haffey. Hannum. <laughs> Logan Holt. <laughs> Doug.
Doug Hendry. Aidan Howe. Saban Hussain. Cooper James. Ryan Johnson. Emily Kowiski. Zoe Kelleher. Anastasia Lewis. Jessica Loraway. Hayden Lovell. Wyatt Major. Asaba Messiet. Monique Matson. Cody Mays. Ali Main. Sarah McCauley. Mia McDonald. Tioni McLean. Benjamin Mitchell. Edwina Moretti. Thomas Moretti. Cooper Murray. Courtney Nagel. Luke Neaton. Daniel New. Robert Newsom. Gabrielle Noriskovicni. Olivia O'Donnell. Joseph Peff. Tuary Polly. Alice Pumphrey.
Joseph Purvis. Matthew Richardson. Tyler Roberts. Caden Rosler. Baxter Ross. Logan Ross. Adam Schuster. Billy Smoothie. Titanian Spencer. Alia Stenke. Danielle Thorne. Jessica Toole. Drew Weston. Madeline White. And Angus Wilson. We now move on to our second group of colours, full colours for leadership and service. So in year 12, many students put their hand up for positions of added responsibility where they lead other groups of students, particularly in co-curricular and in other areas of the school. In addition to giving the same sort of service as our service colour recipients. We've had an excellent group this year who in their chosen areas have given extensively of their time to that activity to make it happen and to assist younger students as they come through the particular activity. Our first recipient, Tiana Belzis. Jeremy Bonish. <laughs> Jessica Burke. <laughs> Megan Boyce. Kelly Chapman. <laughs> Alexandra Cox. <laughs> Benjamin Condon. Clancy Courty Donovan. <laughs> Ryan Davison. <laughs> Harry Dean.
Jack Demilia. Emmett Evans. Abhishek Garg. Anna Lee Godwin. Celia Haviland. <laughs> Natasha Heffer. <laughs> Angus Houston. <laughs> Amy Howe. Georgia Hunt. <laughs> Gus Isaac. <laughs> Jack Jansen. <laughs> Lily Keel. Megan Kent. <laughs> Jack Kinsella. <laughs> Pat Luck. Reeb Mahmood, <laughs> Jessica Maitland, <laughs> Olivia Marks, <laughs> Melanie Matson. Emma McCarthy, <laughs> Jessica McGuinness, <laughs> Georgia Milfall, <laughs> Blake Moore. Lara Nobbs, <laughs> Callum Robertson, <laughs> Lachlan Scarpelli, <laughs> David Shepherd. Matthew Smith, <laughs> Gabrielle Standen, <laughs> Tara Weir. Tyler Wessling, <laughs> Lee.
Logan Whitfield. <laughs> Matthew Wright. Bridget Young. And Maria Silroth. Our final group of colours for today honour colours for leadership and service. This is a very small group because in Year 12, our Year 12s are balancing not only their extensive co-curricula, their academic or job pursuits as they pave the way for their careers, their service to their family, the community and to RGS, the following students in everything that they've done at school have shown excellent organisation, teamwork, encouragement and involvement of younger students. They've upheld all that we expect from a model RGS student with respect to dress and appearance, their attitude to academic studies, outstanding involvement in service to others, both at RGS and in the local community. They've been seen by the staff that they work with as embodying the grammar motto and always striving for excellence in all that they do in and out of school. They've persisted in some difficult circumstances. They've kept their head up and they have led from the front while including the others in the activities that they do. Please congratulate our first recipient, Zach Austin. Elnay Bezadenot. <laughs> Ryan Chang. <laughs> School Captain Elizabeth Clark. Joshua Cowan. <laughs> Georgia Edwards. Mason Henderson, School Vice Captain. <laughs> Bonnie Maynard. <laughs> Jed Moriarty, School Captain. William Smith. <laughs> Ruby Spottiswood. <laughs> Hilary Trandmulia. Catherine Vandeleur. <laughs> Elizabeth Vandeleur. <laughs> ben Williams.
and Meg Wilson, School Vice Captain. Please, can we thank Dr. Miles, Mr. Kelly, and Mr. Petrie? And if we could have one last round of applause for our Year 12 recipients. This is the first year in my 35 years in the school where every member of Year 12 has received colours for the service that they have given the school, which I think is a fantastic achievement for the group. I invite Dr Moulds to announce the 2018 School Prefects and Captains. It gives me great pleasure this morning to announce the captains and prefects for 2018. As I read out their names, I'll ask them to stand in their place, please. Prefects, Tanya Abraham. <clears throat> Pooja Aramagan. <clears throat> Ellie Belanogov. Navindu De Silva. <clears throat> Emily Layton. <clears throat> Callum Lupton. <clears throat> Srijal Pudel. Laura Purvis. <clears throat> Neve Saw. <clears throat> and Blaine Steele. <clears throat> School Vice Captains, Luke Krensky. Annabelle Flockhart. <clears throat> and school captains for 2018, Hannah Woods. <clears throat> and Samandra Patari. Congratulations to all of our school leaders for 2018. Can I ask the prefects to sit down, please? I now invite our 2017 captains to exchange blazes with the 2018 captains. Thank you. Let us pray. Go into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. And know that our God is with you. Amen.
please stand for the singing of the school song and please remain standing as the official party departs. We are grand, our shout of prophets, one tradition has come before us. Sing the songs of all the glorious shows with all the might. Proud of our endeavors, surrender we will never. In the fight, we stand for right, and may God be our protector. Please be seated. Xander Wall, could you please open those two roller doors by pressing the up button? Once those doors get to the, to the top, I'd like to invite the Year 12s and their parents and friends to uh, exit through those doors up to the MAH for some morning tea. So well done, Year 12s and parents. Those students that are sitting up on the top floor, top floor students, come down and populate these chairs down here that the seniors win. So come down the middle stairs, take a seat. <laughs> 